Hi everybody on YouTube. Well, today I am going to plant Maximilian sunflowers that my sister gave me from her garden. She's thinning out her garden and I got a whole bunch of them. They're beautiful uh, sunflower like flowers here and they're laying here and I want to get them in. As you can see I already started a, a uh, ditch here to plant them and uh, they, I'm going to let them grow wild here. But I'm going to just make one more pass with the 8 end tractor. So today I'm using the potato digger. And it looks like this. It's the V-plow. And can you see it? And it's the Titan V-plow. Potato plow is still on here from the unsuccessful potato harvest. So I'm going to take advantage of it and use that in the, in the groove here. Make it a little deeper. So let's get on the 8 end and start her up and make that groove and we'll get the flowers planted. <laughs> the groove again. much Okay, that was very easy with the 8 in. Made a nice groove for the Maximilian sunflowers here. I gotta be careful because I do have a, a uh, hurt thumb, so I can't do a lot of work out here. As you know, I heard it on the 8 in. <laughs> Looking past videos, you'll see it. All right. This makes it so easy to plant. So the idea here is I want to be able to let the maximum sunflowers grow wild here. And they can. They can. Alright. Let's get planting everybody. So I'm just going to lay them out like this. They, they like all growing close. I have plenty of them. So I'm just going to just lay them all out. Okay, that don't have roots on. I'm just going to lay them out like this. And once I get them laid out, I'll stand them up a little bit. But I want to get them out first. And get them in the ground because they're out of the ground for a little while. And I don't want them to hang out too long. Boy, these are going to look nice when these grow here. Another beautiful addition to the Blueberry Farm Botanical Garden here. A 
I just want the ones with the roots on. And they can grow all they want here. Grow wild. See how I'm just laying them down here and the, the roots in the ground, the hole, the groove, whatever you want to call it. There you go. All right. Once I get in the ground and need to spread them out, I will. But, you know, I have equipment here that makes life easier to plant, and I sure take advantage of it. Look at that, I didn't even have to dig that hole by hand. The tractor does it for me. Okay, let's so keep on until we get all the roots out here. See, a lot of these are not have any roots on but I'll go through them look at that oh man this is gonna be beautiful when this grows i'm excited thank you sis for all these cuttings they ain't not going to waste here you know that look at that get these out here Okay, got them in the ground there. Once you get these plants established, they really take over. And they're, I was told they're not, they're not a cheap flower to buy. This is the flower, what it looks like here. It's just sunflower, see? So she said, I'm gonna send them out. And uh, I said, I'll, t I'll take the cuttings, yes. <laughs> like this here idea. So what I'm doing, as I said, I'm just laying them out in the, the groove here right now. I might have to spread them out a little more. I want this whole groove to be filled with these Maximilian sunflowers. So I'm gonna make sure they're spread out. I don't wanna waste any of them. So far, it seems like I have getting it pretty spread out in these in the groove here. what roots on out of here you're not gonna waste any of them
basically gotta go sort this out a little bit here see what has roots here make sure I get them all in there because like I said they're not cheap if you have to buy them so and they're beautiful when they bloom so they are going in the new home here and they're gonna love it here I hope they'll grow won't know till next year of course but they should be good here they even even the short ones like this with the roots on they're fine just gotta sort through this uh, pile here that I, I've got here and uh, make sure I get them all I don't want any of them going to waste here's another one to root on here that's doesn't get rid of that nope I don't have any on. There we go, that's a root there. Let's go put that in. Let's see what he got left here. Yeah, here's another root here. No root there. And there's a that's a root, so we use that one. Nothing there. Just gotta sort through it now. There's another one here. Like I said, I do not want to waste these beautiful Maximilian sunflowers and the Take them all out, has roots here and sort it out. There's a root on that one. That one don't have a root. I don't know what that is. Okay. Good. Nothing. That don't have any. That one's got a root. There's a root there. Okay, nothing there. That one's got a root. This one's got a root. Not a root there. Just like I said, I'm sorting out these plants. Make sure I get all the ones in that pile that has roots on and get them in here. Okay, now I gotta go through this pile because I know there's some in here yet. Okay, there's a lot here yet it has roots on. Don't need that yet. So you tell me, what do you think this would have cost if I had to buy all these Maximilian sunflowers, huh? It, it'd be a lot of money. I don't know how much. I guess your guess is good as mine, my guess is good as yours, any way you want to say that, but they're not cheap to buy and it's a great way to introduce them 
and with the tamagal garn here look at this look at that filling it right up the whole groove here the whole groove is getting filled up Now Maximilian sunflowers are perennials in this area of New Jersey. So uh, I don't have to replant them every year. Once they establish themselves, they will, they will stay there and keep growing. And, uh, and this will be good here to keep going here all years and years to come and look beautiful when they're grown so I think almost looks like I got almost all the roots out of this pile huh I think I do. Let's see. Another root there. All right, give me a guess, everybody. What do you think this would all cost of how to buy all these Maximilian sunflowers, huh? I'd say a couple hundred dollars. What's your guess? Write in the comment if you want, just for the fun of it. Let's see what everybody says, because I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's fun to guess, right? Fun to see. If I get enough people comment on what you think, I'll actually look it up and let everybody know how much this would have cost if I had to buy all these sunflowers. Still more roots showing here. I'm picking them all up. I'm not wasting any of them. Not a one. Okay, I think that is it. I think I got them all. Ouch, that sticker's there. Look at that. I had perfect, perfect hole dug out for all these. Perfect length. All right, anybody else here? Here's one. Let's come on. You don't want to get wasted. Get out of here. Show yourself. Not on here. All right. That's it. Looks like I got them all here. Good. All right, so next thing I, I'm going to do now that I bored you and everybody about how I'm doing this is I gotta plant, dig the, where's my tools? What did I do with my tools? Oh, here they are, okay, all right. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take this hole. What's this? What I got here? What is that? Look at this mushroom! Look at that! Oh wow! Look at that mushroom, huh? Okay. So you want? I don't want to just get these in the ground now. So I'm just gonna dump the dirt back on them, flip it right back over them that the eight, the nine end took out.
it doesn't matter if these are laying over because they're gonna in the spring they're gonna be clipped down anyway so make sure they're all on the ground that's all you gotta do and I gotta tell you boy it's so much easier that the Aiden dug the hole for me here now, can you imagine just digging this all by hand I, I, I know you and everybody out there don't have the equipment that I may have you may have something better but I just like to make it easier for myself here that's when I got an injured thumb yet thank you Aiden <laughs> all right So just squeeze it in and they'll take and that potato plow is excellent for making flower bed grooves in the ground like this Or I'd have to stand there digging all this groove by hand here. And I've done that and yeah, it's a lot of work. So I'll just show you what you can do with a, another thing that you can do with a, an 8 end tractor. 9N or 2N tractor or any tractor as a matter of fact with a potato plow on it it makes a nice flower bed groove to plant flowers Root, root flower, rooted flowers that is look at that it is so easy that dill can just shove it back in there now they, you may see me planting them kind of deep here they don't have to be planted deep they'll do fine and shallow oh, it's more shallow rooting I'm just doing this this way right now what's good about doing it now is because we had here in northern New Jersey had a lot of rain so the ground is still nice and moist a good good for him oh. So here on the blueberry farm, I always look for ways to make things easier for myself here. When it comes to working around the farm. And uh, as you can see, that's what I'm doing today. And last one. Okay. Now I'll just go over with the hoe. And tidy it up a little bit.
Okay, there you have everybody. You are planted a whole row of Knox Finney sunflowers here. All planted. We'll see what they do. Time will tell next year. Oh, there's a root. I'm gonna get that in there, yeah. I don't want to waste any of these nice roots here. Okay. Oh, and I see another root. How did I overlook these? They ain't going to waste. They're not going to waste. They're going in the ground. Okay. Now I just water it a little bit. I will come back with more water. But that's how it is, everybody. That's, that's what I did here. All right, so what do you like to do it this way? Or you have other ways to plant flowers like the Maximilian sunflower, it's up to you. But I thought I'd just share it today. Show everybody what's going on in the blueberry farm. And look at that, it's muddy. So wet, this ground. And all the rain. That's what's going on on the Blueberry Farm. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we're standing in the Botanical Garden here. And that's what's going on. All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Please stop by again if you want to see more videos. And don't forget, that subscribe button is there. Please hit it if you haven't subscribed yet. I like to get this channel going and it'll help my, me with my farm here. Doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button and I don't always have to say that, but it's just something nice to do if you're enjoying this uh, channel. So, uh, Hit that like button, subscribe, and share if you want, and have any comments, let me know. Alright, bye. Bye for now.